How would I describe present laughter in one word? Scrumptious. Present Laughter follows egocentric celebrity Gary Essendine in a series of philandering escapades as he confronts a new kind of midlife crisis. Good God. I look 98. Present Laughter is about this group of characters all sort of revolving around Mr. Gary Essendine. Where's my present? On the piano bench. Oh. It's not another glass horse, is it? No, it's a dressing gown for Africa. A dressing gown, Monica! <laughs> Just what we wanted. It's sort of an insight into this world in the late 1930s. Did anybody say anything important for five minutes? <laughs> it's really Gary Essendine's world. He has his secretary who he's had for decades and his ex-wife and his producer director there are characters that are sort of on the outskirts of this circle who all for one reason or another want to be a part of it like a sunbeam upon the tide which the dark shadows hide but Gary! Hey, quiet. <laughs> there's more he is a superstar of the stage, and we kind of meet him at a crisis moment, thinking about his life and who he loves and who loves him. And what is the strange community of people that I have assembled to represent a kind of family? I was in love with you for longer than I was with anyone else. You can't grumble. I can honestly say, with a lot of love in my heart, that Kevin Klein is probably one of the most extraordinary actors. One of our great, 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 great comedians, I think. Watching Kevin Klein explore and experiment and find ways to engage with everyone and everything around him, and then watching that process come back the next night with something a little more perfected, that was, for me, the great gift of this production. For 30 years, I've given you everything. I gave you my youth. Where is my youth today? Well, I have a very interesting relationship to this play. I think I'm the only person on Broadway who has been in two different Broadway productions of Present Laughter in the last 35 years. I played Daphne Stillington, the young ingenue, with George C. Scott 35 years ago at the Circle in the Square. So I have played the very youngest lady in the play. Now I'm playing one of the older ones. How do you do? Mrs. Essendine. Do you, I mean, are you Gary's wife? Yes. Anyway, I thought you were divorced. Oh, we never quite got around to it. Present Laughter carries forward a tradition of the comedic sex farce, championed in Broadway and the West End, and certainly Noel Coward is a comedic genius in that way. I did the most idiotic thing. <laughs> I lost my latchkey. You lost your latchkey. It is some of the most extraordinary comedy writing. It is much more verbally dexterous. It's musical in a way, without being a musical, that you have to listen for the comedy. What on earth's the matter? Have you or have you not seen me overact? Frequently. Yeah. <laughs> I'm outside the door at his office, and I listen every night to be able to come in and hit the right notes. There is something in the language of Noel Coward. Every word, every phrase, every change of mood, cunningly planned. Obviously, it's not how we talk now. I'm not even sure it's how they talked then. But it's um, a refined way of speaking. You look strangely young every now and then. <laughs> the words are like weapons. And especially for my character, who is sort of playing with Gary, and I consider them to be sort of equal, so they're constantly in this power struggle with each other. There's a certain arrogance about you. A little too much self-assurance. You don't care for competition, I see. <laughs> it's like being in a fencing match with people. It's really, really fun. No, look here, Gary! No, I won't look here! No, 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 no! In this play, we get to see actors at the top of their game giving us truly a comedy Broadway masterclass. People who have been doing this for many years, so they are pros and um, I get to not only have the experience of being on a stage in front of people every night, 
but I'm a student as well, and I'm just absorbing all of this amazing creativity and, and passion from the people on stage. You better take my car, Joanna. It's downstairs. The chauffeur's got red hair and his name's Frobisher. Daphne! <laughs> The reason this play gets done so often is because of the fact that it really resounds with audiences of all ages and it is one of those universally themed plays. I see myself all the time, eating, drinking, loving, suffering. Sometimes I think I'm going mad. Mad! I could help you if only you'd let me! I'm sorry, dear, what did you say?